Hey, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with The View from the Pew. And today, I want to start with a question. The question's a pretty simple one. It's, what is your favorite restaurant? And I just imagine I came to visit in your town and I said, man, I really want to go out tonight. I'd like to get something good to eat. Can you tell me where to go? Where would you tell me? Now, you've kind of got this answer in your head, probably. I know I'm thinking of the Pierogi Palace here in Meaford. Uh, the next question is, why? What is it about that place that set, that appeals to you because, in the way that it does? And now I've done something a little different, haven't I? And I'm starting to get at the point that I want to make, which is uh, the ability to not just know what we think, know what we like and dislike, but to be able to share it, to be able to communicate it. And I, I'm a strong advocate, and many of the videos on this channel have been about uh, developing some good ideas because I firmly believe that our actions are based on what we, on our beliefs. And so I think our beliefs ought to be very, very good. I think we ought to have very informed, understood, reasoned opinions and beliefs and morals and values. You know, all that's a great thing. But once you know what's important to you, once you know who you are, once you know what you value, you know what's right and wrong in various situations, there's a next step to that that sometimes we don't do very well, and that is being able to communicate that. And I want to use a word that uh, kind of adds a, another dimension to communication because all of us communicate all the time, we, we get by, but are you able to articulate your beliefs, your values, your choices? Are you able to explain both effectively, that is so that the person understands what you're trying to say, and efficiently, that is you've said it in a fairly concise way that doesn't uh, have a whole lot of extra stuff going on. Have you can and I'm going to illustrate that uh, in a way that I think all of us have experienced, or at least all of us have heard something about, uh, generally from an older person. Who here has heard the story about? A young person who's just great with some piece of technology. Back when I was a kid, you know, it was the VCR, the TV, uh, and now it's probably the smartphone and the tablet and the computer. Uh, but we all know a kid who's just outstanding at, at manipulating one of these devices. Uh, but what we always hear about that is the mother or father or maybe grandmother or grandfather saying, man, I asked them how to do this and they came over and said, okay, this is what you do. Beep, 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 done and moved on with life. And I didn't know anything more than I had before. You know, here's a person who's very good at knowing a lot about something, but not that good at sharing it, not that good at, at communicating it effectively. And so I would suggest that we could develop some skills along these lines, and especially for Christians who are told to go into all the world and share the gospel. Uh, are you able to articulate what it is you believe about Jesus and why? And so I think there are some things here that uh, I could share with you that might help you out a little bit that I've found helpful uh, and that others have as well who've written books about this kind of stuff. And, and so hopefully these few little pointers will help you to be a better communicator, will help you to be more able to articulate the things that uh, you feel like are important to you and you'd like to be able to share with somebody else. The first one is very general, very broad, but incredibly applicable, and that is read. Uh, spend time reading good authors who you know, do a good job with their grammar, who are concise, who are eloquent. And by spending time reading good writers, Every aspect of your communication will get better. Spelling, grammar, word use, vocabulary, it will all improve if you read people who are good at all of those things. Uh, second one is listen. Now, there's some overlap between this point and the last one, but here what I mean is listen to someone who's already good at making the points that you want to make. That could come in the form of reading, I know, but we live in a, a media-saturated world where uh, we have Vimeo and YouTube and uh, all kinds of video outlets that you can find people who are saying something similar to what you want to say and doing it very well. And so go ahead and find those people. Listen to what they have to say. Not just listen to the points they make, but listen to how they make those points. Listen to how they communicate and see if you can learn something from that. Now, a little warning here. 
Don't memorize uh, someone else's speech. Don't memorize someone else's uh, material and just deliver it. It'll come across as if you've just memorized material and delivered it, uh, which is not very effective at convincing anyone and doesn't come across as yours because it isn't yours. The next thing is to write. Uh, writing in general is going to be helpful for you uh, just in communicating, but especially those things that are really important to you. Uh, if you want to be better at telling people about Jesus and what it is what it is that he means to you and why he's a part of your life, uh, start by telling yourself, by writing it down on a piece of paper, reading it back, scratching things out. I don't know why I said that. That didn't make sense. Read it back and, and develop something that makes sense to you. Uh, it may even be helpful for you to, to get some short, concise answers that other people have given and use those uh, in uh, your own sharing and you know when it comes to communicating the gospel there's all kinds of good material out there uh, get your hands on some uh, maybe it's like their little ready reference or Nichols pocket Bible encyclopedia or a brochure or maybe it's something you have produced yourself or your preacher or teacher or someone else who goes to the church where you go has produced that just really does a great job of communicating the gospel that's awesome use it don't just use it, though. Learn to know it yourself so that eventually you get to the point where you don't need that either. So write down what you're thinking. Write down your reasoning and use that as a way to analyze and improve. Take your time. This is one of those things that all of us struggle with. Many, many times when we're in a conversation with someone, we're not even listening to what they're saying. We're already deciding in our minds what we want to say in response to them after you know they've said two words. Uh, that's not a very good way of listening because you may miss something important about what, the, about what the other person is saying. But it's also a good way to stick your foot in your mouth. It's a good way to go off half-talked and not say what you really mean and, and therefore not be very articulate. And, and so learn that it's okay to have a, a, a minute where things are quiet. Learn that it's okay when someone asks you a question or even halfway through a statement that you're trying to make, say, just a second, you know, and, and think, and then after you kind of thought through what you're trying to say, then go ahead and open your mouth and keep going. Uh, it, that will just save you so much trouble and will make you such a better communicator if you just learn to be quiet for a second and think about what you want to say. Practice. As the old saying goes, practice makes perfect. Anything you want to get better at, it's going to take practice. Now, you may not want to practice with someone uh, that you're nervous around or where you feel like it really matters. You know, you may not want to practice uh, asking for a raise with the boss you're going to ask for the raise, uh, but practice with people who can help you and who people who you're comfortable with uh, so that this is not your first time ever saying these things when, you know, you're in that situation where you're maybe nervous or uncomfortable uh, with a person you feel like maybe antagonistic to some of your Christian ideas and values. Uh, practice in a, in a safe environment first, and then when you go out to do it in real life, uh, you'll be more comfortable. And finally, just try it. Uh, one of the easiest and, and best ways to get better at communicating is to just step out with a little bit of confidence and try it. You'll probably fall on your face a few times. You'll make yourself look like a fool. Uh, that's okay. People are pretty forgiving. Uh, and you'll get better from that practice. Yeah. So that's all I have to say about communicating, about being articulate. I hope that some of these things have been helpful to you. I hope that most especially you will use some of those pointers to make you better at taking the good news to all the people who desperately need it. In their